Oh, we wasted all that time. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? I'm not editing that part. <laughs> They're going to be wondering what the hell's going on. Doesn't matter. <laughs> so, yeah, this is synchronization for the most part, I guess. Well, Taker doesn't have anything to say about Bleach, so he's probably out of it. Shin's distracted by phone. So, he. And I thought he even has anything to say about Bleach. Huh? Yep, you have anything to say about Bleach? Bleach is stupid because who loves a bad name? Thank you. Anyway, um, <laughs> we have Felix. What's the point of me even saying anything here? Um, I don't know. Disclosure your opinion. Oh, what? Positive you, oh, oh, what? You want me to try to defend it now after the bullshit you put me through for like the past couple of months? Yes. Yeah. That's the point. Of this. You're, you're the <laughs> I don't even know side. what to do anymore with this. Well, I'm Nate and... I'm KO and... Uh, another discussion that I've been kind of holding in for like forever. Yep, synchronization rants. Yeah, <laughs> or more like Kale rants and everyone else just talks. Nah, nigga, get mad! Get <laughs> angry! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this... <laughs> what? <laughs> Apparently, we have to be quiet because it's daytime. Oh, yeah, because niggas sleep during the day. They're nocturnal. <laughs> <laughs> No, there isn't. Anyway, um, <laughs> so yeah, synchronized issue rants. Uh, today's discussion, Bleach, the anime. Woo! Oh, I thought you were talking about Korra. <laughs> we made a joke like that before. Anyway, uh, yeah, Bleach, the anime. I have nothing against the games. Games are cool. I don't know what else there is. The manga, same thing. Uh, yeah, I think it's just games. I think there was a... As usual, some sort of short-lived train card game that nobody bought, so it died. Uh, actually, yeah. I have to make a trading card game of everything. Oh yeah, there was a trading card game. I remember that. There's a trading card game. I was it? I never even heard of it. I didn't bother. With it. The only trading card game I, games I ever played were Yu-Gi-Oh and Naruto. I, I played Yu -Oh. Dragon Ball Z. It fucking sucks. It's boring. <laughs> How did I make Dragon Ball Z boring? <laughs> By turning into a card game. Yeah, apparently. turn into a card game. Hmm? Metal Gear Solid, the card game. Oh Seriously? God! Okay. How do you sneak up on people? <laughs> okay. Uh, throw a card at them. So, out of the three of us that are in this rant, each of us kind of has a role, I guess. Ish. Like Ko's the main person with all the hate towards it. Growl. Over explaining it. Kale hates it. He's in between. Felix is gonna try and defend it. I think Felix gave up at this point, though. <laughs> like you can, you can disclose your opinion. I'm just saying. And Shim just calls shit gay. Yeah. So yeah, unlike our horribly unorganized videos that take forever, I organize these. Uh, I organize the list so it can even take even more forever than it did before. Yeah. Why are we doing this to people? <laughs> <laughs> what have people done for me? I'm so surprised people watch all of Sinker Eyes episode one, to be honest. <laughs> so anyway. All hour and a half of it. We'll split these up so you won't have to be all. Uh, you know, a five hour long video. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're like, what? Like four minutes in, okay, nothing is discussed. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, we're gonna start. All right, we're gonna get to uh, start part one of the bleach rant in quotations. With what is bleach exactly? Now, I don't know why the hell you even listening to this if you didn't know what bleach was. You shouldn't even like be listening to this if you don't know what bleach is. Massive spoilers and shit. So, yeah, get out. <laughs> yeah. If you want to spoil this, get, get the fuck out. And that concludes what is Bleach. <laughs> well, it makes Why sense. Why do I need to explain it? If you're watching this, if you know what it is. This is, the no, no, this is, no, no, this is directed toward people who know about the series. If you don't know about the series, then you shouldn't be here. Get out. 
So that's part one of our bleach rant. <laughs> no. Make sure they're paying attention. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So part two is our personal experiences with bleach. No, Taker hasn't seen it. Shun well, was Taker, just going to call him gay. Well, Taker tried to watch it, but said he got bored. That's surprising. Uh, ah. Shun. Shun. In case you didn't hear him, it got stupid after the eyes and thingy. He said. You mean the full bring thing? Yes. It's retarded. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get to that later. Felix, your opinion. Our experiences. Experiences and opinions. To be honest, I just personally like the anime, man. There's nothing too much, nothing too little about it. Fight well, when did you start with Bleach? When did I start? Episode one, actually. Ah. Uh, beginning. Yep. I started with the pilot chapter that was in one of the issues of Shonen Jump. Pilot chapter. Kind of, huh? Well, he read the manga. Yeah, the pilot chapter, and oh. then, but I kind of lost track of the manga after a while, and yeah. <laughs> and then. Small move got into it from adults. Hmm? What are you doing? <laughs> I don't think it works that way. <laughs> um. <laughs> and then I found out that there was an anime, and basically sat down and no life to watching on the internet. <laughs> Yeah, me, I started from Adult Swim. I never heard of it beforehand. Uh, watched it all the way up to like halfway through the Ruki, Rescue Ruki arc and lost my cable. And then like since then, I was like on and off. But like, every time I go back on, I just find something that like maybe go back off. <laughs> I guess that's where that ends. All right, what's three? So, three. How it all started. Why I went off for the last time. Well, for the first time. For the for, yeah, for the first, for the first time, yeah. So yeah, um, I shouldn't have to explain anything about the story. I'll just say it. Uh, Ichigo versus Ukiura fight. Pretty, pretty badass fight. Not gonna lie. Uh, a lot of hype around it when it was coming up. In fact, I don't even think it happened yet in America, right? Gee. What England. a major fight between the two. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't. It didn't happen yet. Apparently, it's, we're still in the Mura Masa arc. That no, was we over. just no, we just finished it. Oh, really? Yeah. American bro. Yeah. So what? Do we finally get that this week or next week or something? That much I don't know. Yeah. I'm kind of hoping for it. They're just so, gonna yeah. give us a bunch of reruns. I <laughs> yeah. Hope they don't. So, in America, we didn't get the Ukiura fight yet, but um, how long ago was it? Like a year or two? I don't know. For you? I don't know. But yeah, there's so much hype around it though. I kind of like just cheated and just won uh, YouTube, tried to find a fight myself, watched it. Yeah, I played the game. Somebody made a specialized video to cut off all the filler bullshit and the in between crying and. Yeah, with the Rukia and, and the, other people fighting the executor tree thing. And Or he may have sang Ichigo's name like 4,000 times. <laughs> just like Naruto. Yeah. So, um. Yeah. Those are background music. Whatever that is. What is that? <laughs> Can't tell if that's you or him. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> wow. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, there's a part in the fight where Ukyo has each go by the neck but on this 4,000 tall, 5,000 foot build, tall building or whatever. <laughs> probably, probably not tall enough as a description, but like really high place, has him by the neck, shoots a cell beam through his chest. So that's like... Any normal person or even a soul reaper would die for So that's that. part of his heart, part of both of his lungs, whatever the hell else is in the chest cavity that you need. All that vital stuff, gone. Just, just gone. Drops him from the building. No, no, you know he's dead from the get-go. Yeah, he's, he's fucking dead. You can you can see his eyes, dead eyes and all that. Yeah, so drops from the building, hits the ground, no interference whatsoever, just poof, down. Or he may goes to heal him. Doesn't work. Can't heal him. You know, the person who has the ability to, you know, reject defy reality. death. <laughs> reject death, literally. Why yeah. did you ever heal a dead person? I don't know. Didn't she... Bring someone back to life before. The most I remember her doing was 
giving Grimjaw his arm back after it had been, like, incinerated. What? I'm not gonna even... Anyway, um... Yeah, yeah that didn't work. chopped his arm off, and then, or he made basically... No, 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 uh, suit. Oh, yeah, Tozen chopped it off, and then she made a new one for him. Well, she was kind of forced. Still, oh, boy, I didn't even know about that. Anyway, uh, Orihime, uh, couldn't heal him. You know, the ultimate healer of the, of the series. Uh... Ichigo's super hollow form. I know yeah. there's a word for it, but I'm not going to bother. Vasalore. Yeah, that. Goes all Vasalore and whatever, and starts beating the shit out of Ukiara. Literally shoots a uh, Cero Beam through the sky from the ground in his face. Oh, yeah, it breaks the ground, sky, ceiling. Outside ceiling. Thing. <laughs> and pretty much, like, destroys all of Ukiara's vital or organs. Now... Then Ichigo starts to go nuts. Uri tries to stop him, gets a sword thrown through him. <laughs> or he may try to stop him by crying. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it works. <laughs> and uh Ukiara managed to get a cheap shot, break off a piece of uh, the mask, and thing shatters. Each goes back to normal, except pff, dead. Again. Still dead. Still dead. Double dead. Both of the souls that inhabited his body, dead. And then this this little orb of spiritual whatever, just floating above Ichigo, comes down, heals him. 999, he's fine. Hole's gone. Yeah, there are going to be people that are going to try to explain this, but... Yeah, there's no explanation for it. I've asked, like, everyone on that same YouTube, uh, YouTube page, I, like... Can you explain how Ichigo got healed at the end of the blah, 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 blah? Nobody ever gave me a confident answer. Nobody can, like, actually explain to me what the hell happened. They had good theories, like, um, Hollow Ichigo has the ability to regenerate, so that power, like, carried over. But, um... Dead. Yeah. By the laws of Bleach, if a Hollow's mask breaks, or at least a piece of it off, whatever... Well, if it shatters. If it shatters... It, the, the hollow dies. So at that point, Hollow Ichigo is dead. So his regenerative abilities couldn't have worked. Because he's dead. Now, Felix also had a theory, which uh, makes a little bit more sense, but still doesn't make sense. Because apparently, if you break a hollow's mask, then the original person who was possessed by the hollow gets, his, gets control of his body again. But even if that were true, Ichigo is dead. So. He got control of his dead again. Yeah. He, he's dead. Except he's not dead because apparently the Tite Kubo decided, you know what, I'm going to just heal him. Because I can. <laughs> this is my enemy. I do whatever I want. <laughs> Even on the Wikia, which is actually, you know, backed up by official sources and citations and crap, no way to explain it. Yeah. So, the fuck. The, the, that's when I quit because, like, how do, how do you write that into something? Like, uh, if there was a novel of Bleach, like, I want to see how that, like, how that writes out. Um, Ichigo, lifeless body, it collapses onto the ground. Explanation of what happened. His eyes is blank in, in being deadness. <laughs> being deadness. This guy's gonna write a fanfic. Then a, <laughs> the, the random ass orb of light came down <laughs> upon Ichigo from nowhere. And the, the wound was completely healed. I'm a terrible writer, but I don't give a fuck. It still doesn't make any sense. And this guy wants to write a fanfic. <laughs> uh. So yeah, that's what made me quit. Like, it was, it was just so stupid. You just well, basically spoiled yourself. It's not that I spoiled myself. It's just that what happened was dumb. And even if he had waited until now, now <laughs> to or, see to see the fight, or like. Four weeks from now, since, you know, it's not going to happen in the next, very next episode. So, we're going to have to have... But yeah, like, still, if he waited, you know, for the couple months or whatever, you know, this year for the fight to come out in America, he probably still would have had the same reaction. Pretty much. I still tried to get him to come back into this series, but that always failed. That always fails for... Re It's gonna sound terrible to the MP3 player. You know we could just play the song at this point, right?
There's gonna be build up, isn't there? Whatever. So we're gonna get into part four uh, since the beginning. Pretty much, this isn't the first time that a massive plot hole has come up. Like, in fact, the first massive plot hole that appears in the, in, the, in the entire series starts at episode one. Nate? What? Would you like to... Oh, this yeah. Is your thing. Explaining shit. Uh, it was a few months ago when we got the random idea to make a bleach abridged. Which we were never going to do in the first place, but it was fun to make the jokes anyways. I made a few jokes about the whole Rukia giving Ichigo his powers thing in the first episode. And then it was, what, like, last week at some point? Like, three days ago. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> where <was> last Friday. <laughs> Right, that was something that kind, of, that kind of bothered me about that episode. Like, my problems with, with episode one can be explained up in, I guess, three points. Point one. Rukia apparently thought that even though she, a soul reaper with over a hundred years worth of experience, couldn't defeat a basic hollow at full power, she assumes that if she gives her, that if she gives only half of her power to Ichigo, an inexperienced street punk, he'll be able to kill it just fine. So, my broken slingshot can't kill this humongous dragon, so maybe if I give this kid my broken slingshot, he'll be able to kill it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Point two. Somehow, instead of just receiving the half of it that she intended him to, he managed to absorb all of it. I'm sexy and I know it. I knew it. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. That was too long even for me. <laughs> That somehow fit. That's the worst part. <laughs> I'm uh, for it, though. We're just trying to inject some randomness into this episode or something. Yes. Ah. Pretty much. And then, point three. Even though Ichigo did absorb all, all of her power, even if you take that, you know, without any expl further explanation, he still would have been at the same power that Rukia was, being that he would have been unable to kill the Hollow, but he still manages to do it anyways. Uh-huh. Now, and then there's an explanation. Explanation for point one. Wait, was that point three or two? Yeah, it was point three. three. Oh. The fact that even though he was at the same level of power as Rukia, or oh, should have yeah. been, yeah. still managed to win. Now, the explanations. Point one. Rukia's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> the the, the simple. Rukia is, is a dumbass. I'm going to skip point two for now. And definitely for point three is that apparently, since Ichigo already had a bunch of uh, spiritual pressure, when Ruka gave, when he took off Ruka's power, that just kind of got added onto his, meaning that he was stronger than Ruka. Dude, that that would actually make sense. That I'm saying that actually does make sense. That's that, a legit that explanation. That is the explanation. It actually makes sense. It works. And for all we know, Ichigo was stronger than Ruka from the get go. He just couldn't do anything because he wasn't a Soul Reaper. So far, we know all she did, did was just unlock his powers. But then there's point two, which doesn't really have an explanation. A apparently, the explanation is the same for point two and point three. He already had powers. Apparently, because he already had spiritual pressure in him, that's why he was able, able to absorb all of it instead of just receiving the half. That's the only ex explanation they give. Because this, he already had spiritual pressure. Yeah, and this is where we get into part five. The substitute soul sponge. Substitute soul sponge? Yeah, according to this massive plot hole, apparently this means that Ichigo has the ability to sponge energy that goes through him. Now, this wouldn't make sense because that would mean every single attack that would land on him, he would just pretty much eat it and get stronger. You know, like a syrup to the chest? Yeah. You know, It doesn't make sense, right? <laughs> None of that made any sense. Exactly. This is why. This is why the plot. This, what? How is he absorbing this? Exactly. How we do you know he's absorbing this? Actually? Well, according to the massive plot hole in episode one, apparently Ichigo has the ability to sponge spiritual energy off of, uh, out of any sword that has spiritual pressure in it. I.e., Brukia give him half of his energy, and he just eats all of it. Unknown ability for him. Like I want to just like see that board meeting. Back when this was still the manga, and Kubo's just sitting there at the table, you know, he, he's got the first version of, of, like, what, like, the first chapter or whatever, and originally, he took only half of her power, managed to go through some bullshit, but then, you know, the board of directors is like, this doesn't make any sense, you gotta change it. Hmm. 
Let me think. Hmm. <laughs> uh, let me think of something. You've got it. He took it all. What? He <laughs> took all of respiratory pressure. That that still doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but he took all of it. We're not going to get anything better from you, are we? Nope. Uh. <laughs> and that's how that happened. <laughs> and that's how it all started. Apparently, we should, we should like email these videos to Kubo. Find some sort of contact <laughs> email for him. He's gonna kill us. <laughs> he's gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's definitely gonna kill you. <laughs> and Shun. <laughs> me yeah, and Shun. No, no, no. Watch him rewrite the entire manga to fix all of this. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> No, yeah, no, he, he can't. can't. No, <laughs> far too. Late. He has to write like an alt, like an alternate version of the Bleach manga. <laughs> he has to make a He's gonna have to call it Final Fantasy Thirteen Three. Oh, oh yeah, an interesting side note: from the creator of Final Fantasy comes an all new game, The Last Story. Oh yeah, I heard of that. Apparently, it's been out for like four years, and we're just now getting it. Huh? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Apparently, uh, last story from Square Enix, a game that was released in Japan for like forever ago for the Wii. Uh, we're finally getting it. We do. Uh, I guess it's good. So, but it, it would make sense to me to is that the guy who created Final Fantasy is now making a game called The Last Story. Wait, 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 wait. Tetsuya Nomura or someone else? It's someone else. It's, it's, it was like the guy who created or directed Final Fantasy or something. Someone really important for Final Fantasy. A lot of the people who directed Final Fantasy have been different over the years. Like from I think one... I think, didn't it say it was like the creator or something? Like the creator and... I think it was like the guy who created it and some guy named Uimatsu. We'll put a link of whatever information we have on yeah. the description. But like, yeah, there's okay. that. But anyways, back the to... The last story. I think he's clever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's next? Ending saga? <laughs> 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 final oh, installment, <laughs> and if it's successful enough, final installment two. <laughs> the final destination. <laughs> uh. So, um, yeah, each ghost secret ability to sponge energy. That doesn't make any sense. So, um, yeah, part six, top tier characters. You mean everybody? <laughs> no, I mean the three particular people that have shown up in every single episode, and no one else. Yep. Oh god. Yeah. Uh of course the people watching this already know about Bleach. They have an entire slew of characters. Entire like society built around it. The Soul Society. The Soul Society. Ooh. Soul Society contains, you know, dead people. <laughs> uh dead people and people who are apparently born in the Soul Society even though they're, they're all dead. dead and, uh, and so the apparently Apparently, ghosts can give birth to other ghosts. And apparently, Hitsugaya had a past where he, when, where when he was younger, he was living in the Soul Society. But apparently, he's supposed to be dead. So I think he may have probably died as a kid. I don't know. But yeah, we have Soul Society, a society of dead people. Pretty much, quote-unquote, heaven, where you go after you die. Whatever. Um, they have their own little military thing. Uh, you got... The 13 court guard squads. Or if you're the Japanese asshole, Gote 13. Yeah, that. And um, the lieutenants and the people who are under them, which are like a lot. Third seat, fourth seat, etc. More. As far as we know, there's like an infinite number of Soul Reapers, but only a few of them have actual names. Yeah. Um, and then there's Captain Yamamoto, the quote-unquote most powerful Soul Reaper there is. The head captain slash captain commander. We'll get into him a lot later because he's huh. Ugh. Captain Long Name. There we go. Gen Ryu Sai something. Gen Ryu Sai something 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 Yamamoto Dark Side. Really? <laughs> I don't know. Something something Dark Side Yamamoto. Now the strange thing about these characters is that even though they're you know thirteen uh, thirteen captains, which are like really important to the plot and apparently show up. Pretty often. Uh, this fits too well. <laughs> Show up in every episode. <laughs> <laughs> well, assuming he's too far away to hear. <laughs> 
Uh, there are a couple characters in this anime that, although, even though they're kind of in the the category of the not very higher up people, they show up a lot more often than the people who outrank them. Like, uh... You care. Finally. Uh... Do we just stop, or what do we do? I guess we stop. So we're going to be interrupted here. I guess next up is part two. Yeah, that. All right, and we're back. All right. Uh, we stopped in the middle of top tier characters. I'm probably just going to end this out, so it'll be like it never happened. Nope. Anyway, um. So yeah. As I was saying, uh, stupid. Yeah, that was what I was Although there are a crap load of characters. That, 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 that was gonna be wrong, that's why I didn't say anything. I was like, that's not from Mega Man. You gotta remember the game she first changed from. I know. Oh, she was the first she was the first girl I was ever so scared yet attracted to at the same time. I was so You're scared of her and attracted to her at the same So, time. welcome to Shin's discussion about whoever the fuck he's talking about, video Tron part Bond. one. Tronbon, <laughs> my waifu. So, welcome to Shin talk about Tronbon episode one. <laughs> Tronbon is amazing. And she's sexy and very sexually explicit. She's like eight, yo. And that's the end of episode. I don't give a fuck. And that's the end of episode one. <laughs> I beat. What? I don't give a fuck if she's eight. I beat. And she's made of pixel go. <laughs> I'd still be. <laughs> and that's the end of Shin Talks About Tron by now. Back to our regularly scheduled rant. Oh, God. And, and now here's Fix with the weather. Let's go, Ray! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ray. Right. They're not Ray. Anyway, um... Apple. So, yeah. Although there's a shitload of characters in Bleach, uh, only a few of them, like, either show up frequently or show up all the goddamn time. Yeah. <laughs> Number one. Toshiro Hitsugaya. First yeah. person that come the uh, first person that come to mind is Toshiro Hitsugaya. Always there why? why? Yeah. It's not only that he appears in goddamn every single episode after he's introduced, but he gets his own season, his own movie, and apparently he has the ability to invade other people's flashbacks. Yup. He's the he's the <laughs> he's the shadow the hedgehog of bleach. I don't get it. What? He got his own game. Shadow. He's in, <laughs> in flashbacks and shit. He's in every game He's in every he game introduced. since he was introduced. <laughs> well, you, you kind of can't compare because... He kind of did have his own season in Sonic X. Yep. Well, you kind of can't compare because... Like, oh, oh, oh. Well, well, you, have, you, have well. to, you have to let me finish my point. Okay, okay. You can't really compare because in Bleach, there are like 200 characters in it. Sonic, we have like... You know, wow. twelve. <laughs> so that's excusable. No, no, no. But he got his own. Ga- he got his own so actual game. So no, 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 no. Now listen. Now listen. Now listen. Now listen. <laughs> let me finish. Now let me finish my point. <laughs> that that game, fucking guy the jazz <laughs> Sonic. What the fuck with Game Gear? Tails flying machine he shit. Two that, games. Is, <laughs> that, that does not qualify as a game. So. Like, especially Shadow the Hedgehog or does. Shadow of the Hedgehog. Okay, wait, Shadow of the Hedgehog does. does. <laughs> Your I, rest, I rest my case. He had his own storyline in yeah, Sonic 06. Oh, yeah, he had his own storyline in Sonic 06. He's the only one who has a storyline out of every character in Sonic. <laughs> who else has backstory? Maria? No one. Uh, <laughs> She's in Shadow's backstory. <laughs> uh, Just fed my point. Uh, um, Gamma. Not really. Created by Eggman, got blown up. <laughs> nah, son. Turns out it was a flicky. <laughs> <laughs> damn it. Like, damn it, kid. Got burned burn this whole time. That one was most deep. You didn't cry at the end of that story. You're, you're heartless. Heartless, I say. Yeah, handsome. Anyway, um, but yeah, that's <laughs> the flashback thing that Cam brought up. After you, after they defeat Eisen, and Eisen gets locked up in Super Ghost Jail, there's a little Super montage. Ghost. Of all the, of like a bunch of the characters in the aftermath of this whole thing, where Hitu guy gets like a fifteen minute, <laughs> like training montage, of just him randomly swinging a sword around inside inside of a cave, 
<laughs> and which leads to Rangiku having a flashback about when Gein left, or something like 500 years ago or something, in which it was snowing. Marvel Comics. Taker's playing Ultimate Marvel again. Train me! Wait a minute, you're not... I don't know what I'd like to do that. What? Marvel Comics. But yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, snow. Like kind he of invaded Rangiku's flashback and added snow. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, Seems like was... Ollie Williams was wrong on the weather report. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's Rangiku who like follows him around. I think he's a lieutenant, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She pops up in like all the time, wherever. Even when these guys not even around. Yeah. So like, what are you here for? Ricky pops up all the, all the damn time, but he's a main character. That's okay. Well, Ren Renji, who originally wasn't a main character, ended up becoming a main character, so that's why he's around all the time. And then there's, uh, Kaku. Yeah, and then there's Ikaku, which has no importance whatsoever. He was the first person to go fight. Okay, that's wonderful. But, like, well, why is that, like, a gateway to main characterism? You got your ass kicked by the main character, therefore you're the main character. And his only other But then everyone else get their ass kicked by the main character. Exactly. So shouldn't everyone who fought the main character be a main character? Exactly. Main character is a disease. When you come in contact with the main character, you get main character syndrome. Uh, I mean, the only other contribution was uh, he's the only. He's like one of what? Two characters that aren't Captain Bonkai? Yeah. Oh! Oh, oh, and not the Bonkai. Oh, so I mean, right that, you meet Chica. Like, the fifth seat of what? The fourth of it? No, no, no. He's, he's, he's in the same position. This is Spider-Man. Yeah, he's Spider-Man. He pops up all the goddamn time. He even got his own fight. He only showed up to him. Still, he has no fight. See, he's side character to someone who caught main characterism from the main character. Makes sense, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, they mentioned Bonkai. There's a thing about Bonkai that disturbs me, which brings us to part seven, the power cap, which is a lie. Yeah. So, apparently, Tizu Kuma decided it was a good idea to implement a certain system with the abilities of Soul Reapers. Now, each and every zone back down has two forms, or three forms, exactly. It's normal state, where it's just a sword, Shikai, when it's released and uh, first learns uh, the name of the sword, and Bonkai, which is the, you know, end all to all their abilities, and the most powerful attack, and it's kind of come up from Shikai or whatever. Now, it's good to know they have the system in place, but the problem with this is that, well, the 13 Krogar squads, and some of the, like, people under them, like, are introduced into the story with their Bonkais already. And since there's nothing beyond Bonkai, everyone's at the peak of their strength and there's no development. So, why do I give a fuck about these people? And again, out of all these characters, the only one that we can even study care about is Hitsugaya. Because he hasn't perfected his Bonkai yet. Yeah. And then there's like certain characters that didn't have Bonkai in the beginning, but then when they did get them, it was still like season two, Renji, like in the beginning of the anime. And I'm not a side note about about Power Cap. The only ones that we really care about is what Ori, Hime, and Chad, because since they have a different type of power altogether, we have no idea what the Power Cap is and whether or not they've reached it. Yeah. Same thing with Erdu, but since he keeps getting his ass beat and losing his powers, yeah, he kind of stopped caring. Renji got his Bankai like. The day after he was introduced, so fuck that. No, he kind of did get it literally like in the game. I mean, not the game, the anime. He literally got it like the day after he was introduced. Credit, credit is like, this is Ringy. He fought Ichigo. Next season. By the way, Ringy's back and he's the main character. By the way, he has Bankai now. That was Ringy's entire character development for, for uh, the, the anime. You're talking about after his second fight with Ichigo. Yeah, when he came back in the Soul Society arc. Okay. Right, right, it was, this is Renji. Either way, you got like a total of like 10 minutes of screen time, so it's like... And then there's Rukia, only one episode who, who is actually strong enough to be a lieutenant, but isn't because Byakuya had to pull bullshit to get, get her unseated because that was his way of protecting her or something. I'm still trying to find that bullshit. Chappie like explained it all, but 
Yeah, the problem is, is that since she keeps getting her ass beat, and the only fight that she ever quote unquote won, she still ended up half dead on the floor. That's one of the quotations, by the way. We decided to turn on her because, well, she doesn't do anything. Yeah. Except for your kid, then. Not, not, not a very good resume. Either gets trash or gets kidnapped. Lovely. No. And then there's more bullshit about the power of Africa discovery, which I filed the other day. Apparently, any character, according to the way to become a visor, okay. if you're watching this, you already know what a visor is, so I'm not even going to explain it. Uh, if, apparently, any character is capable, is capable of becoming a visor. Any character. Anybody. But Ichigo is the, is the only one who reads the level. And there's the whole final get the Tim show thing, which, if you really think about it, if they actually went through the training, they any character could have like some sort of final version of their attack, of their main attack. So that's two levels above Bankai that any character could attain, but only Ichigo does. Yep. I use the ass and the I was going to say when the main character was in the Oh, there you go. That's pretty much it. Did any of the other soldiers even know about the Bankai? What, the Bankai? I'm pretty sure they did. Even if they didn't, Ichigo knows. You could just walk in and be like, hey, guess what, guess what we can do? Well, like the whole Isaac thing, you did not set it around the visor. Yeah, then they just watch the whole thing that revealed like Aizen's past or something. Then they yeah, sit down. Yeah, then those, they sit down themselves and watch the anime. Oh, you mean that six yeah. episode season? Yeah, sure. Yeah, the Urdahar's past arc, which was apparently a season, even though it was only six episodes. Uh, Why do you even call it a season? Ask the Peach Wiki. It's just that it's a season. But yeah, they have to know about the virus because they got kicked out of the society, didn't they? That's like calling that cake baking yeah. episode. So yeah, they That's like calling that cake baking filler a season. It's like calling that Remember Tokyo cake baking plane. filler? Yeah. Yeah. That <laughs> cake could have beat Eisen. I don't care. It's like calling that hit the guy playing soccer filler oh, a season. That oh, is a season. <laughs> oh yeah, I yeah. forgot. It's like 15 episodes of that shit. <laughs> Not just him playing soccer, but like mostly him and Ron Kiku and his bullshit. But yeah. He got busted. So, now we get to, well, what is technically the main villain of the series. Sosuke Aizen. So fucking loves him. Yep. Sosuke so loves focus. focus. <laughs> <laughs> I You're there. So yeah, that guy. Um, like I said, I missed a lot of Bleach. I don't know his origin story. Uh, all I know he is that... He doesn't really have an origin story. He was a Soul Reaper, and for whatever reason, he decided to go off and become a Tokyo So, yeah. Um, yeah, all I know is that for whatever reason, for whatever reason, he tended to die and became evil and want to take over the world, and blah, 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 blah. And, uh... In order to do that, he stole this thing called the Hoya Cube, which apparently Rukia had this whole time. And um If you ever with the Hogyo kids for some reason, well, I don't. Can you explain to me? <laughs> the Hog the Hogyo Cube is something that or a heart thing because apparently in order to become like a perfect being, it's to combine the Soul Reaper and Hollow powers that are inside of every Soul Reaper. Which will, so basically once you control both of those powers perfectly, you become a perfect being. Uh, okay. When I created the visor, that was Aizen's attempt, but instead all I did was get Apollo A and get him the power to summon a hollow. Awesome. So, um... Anyway, um... So yeah, there's that. Apparently the Hokiaku has the ability to make Aizen immortal as well, blah 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 blah. And yeah, he's Make him the perfect ho hollow sword for hybrid thing. Yep. Now, apparently, Aizen becomes the quote unquote most powerful being aside from the most powerful soul reaper in the world. And is unstoppable, can't be killed, blah blah blah. So, yeah, with his fairy wings and all. Yeah, so by the time. So basically, Aizen attained god status. Yeah. Well, he tried to. 
He's more OP than Guy here. No, 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 no. Once you make a character, once you make a character basically unkillable, can't die, blah, 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 blah. That's when they attain God status. The most powerful, they're as powerful as a being can be within that universe, God status. So he's got money. Yep. Yeah. He's a God mind no, 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 no. He's not Donzo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Donzo. No, 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 no. He's just as bad. He is definitely just as bad as Donzo. Uh, you'll have to explain that later. Um, anyway. I think that's just as bad as freaking Danzo. Okay. His sun particle alone proves that. Oh yeah, his hypnosis bullshit. If you see me release my sun particle, Shikai, I can control what you think and see forever. Gay. That's why, was, that's why he's been waiting this entire time. He could go like the only person in the world who hasn't seen it. <laughs> oh, wow. He's like the only person in the world who never saw it. Oh god, wow. Anyway, uh, Ricky, by the time Aizen finally least. gets the, uh, uh, no, by the time not. Ichigo finally gets the Aizen, Ichigo already knows this super amazing ability called the Final Gets Potential. Which, upon but you, is. Did we not get that until the. This is the. Are we, are we talking about We're already talking about it. Ah. Yeah, well, the fire gets potential, which upon use, will wipe out his solar abilities, but, like, you know, it's the ultimate thing to stop icing and whatever and blah blah blah. So, each go goes through all this bullshit to try to defeat Eisen, ends up using the fire gets potential, and Eisen's fine. Cuts him perfectly in half, uh, perfectly, and Eisen's perfectly okay. Shout out to that before God, the, Now, know that before this happened, Eisen has defeated every Soul Reaper in existence. All of them. Even the head captain of Yamamoto, even Ichigo's dad, who's some sort of super secret ancient author of powerful Soul Reaper, Urdaha, Yodorichi, everyone got the ass to beat. Hey, Lily, I'm rather to jump ahead. Ishin got into the fight? Oh. Ishin, Urdaha, and Yodorichi are all like teamed up to try to take them on. Got the ass to hand it to them by fighting. Ichigo managed to cut him from the game up. Problem is, it didn't work. But, you know, he managed to do it. Lost his powers in the process. Kind of bullshit, right? Then, Uruhara decides, uh, let's take it. Turns him, turns Eisen to a stick. A stick. A stick. A stick. Seals him into a stick. 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 Will Stippler. So it turns out that apparently, so it turns out that apparently the plan all along was to get each guy to fight Aizen to the point where the hook and crew would leave him and he'd be weak enough to seal. So he could become a stick. Now, there's multiple problems with this because A, that means the entire fight with Ichigo is completely pointless because if the hook and crew left Aizen, that means he's not a mortal anymore and it's perfectly killable and yet you seal him. Well, apparently, even though the whole good crew left him, he was still immortal. Which is another uh, unexplainable bullshit point. Well, you know, since he had the whole good crew, you know, he kind of had the whole good crew, so he was kind of, you know, he was kind of already oh, immortal. Yeah, yeah. So once you're immortal, you can't be unimmortal, you know, because, you know, once you're immortal, you're, you're immortal. Can't be unimmortal. Even though the thing that was giving him the power of immortality had left him, he was still No, 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 you stay immortal. Once you become immortal, you stay immortal. It's like being dead. Oh, wait! See what see what I did there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now last thing, how the hell would you feel that you went through all this extreme bullshit hyperbolic time gym or completely ripped off the Dragon Ball Z training? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's true! It's that's true. Like, apparently that's exactly what it is. Yeah. They completely shamelessly ripped it off Dragon Ball Z. Ripped off the hyperbolic time yeah. chamber. Dragon Ball Z. I'm sorry. Explain that one to me now. Okay, when uh when Aizen and Gein left after, you know, completely destroying all the Soul Reapers in the Soul Society and Gein kicking Ichigo's ass for about fifteen minutes. They left and we're going to the Don guy or whatever. The Good. thing the thing with the big ass worm or shit. Yeah. But that. then when the cleaner came up, Aizen said fuck you and killed it. What? Yeah. Yep, he, he killed the cleaner. He killed so, the cleaner? Yep, yeah. he killed the cleaner. He killed the janitor. 
<laughs> There's nobody in San Mateo maintenance down there anymore. <laughs> so when Ishin and Ichigo went through, Ishin was like, oh look, the cleaners are here. Let's train. Wait, what? Apparently, if Ichigo trains in, in the whatever the fuck it was called. Dark Ball Time Chamber. Dark Ball Time yeah, Chamber. The, the Don guy, apparently, even though he was only in there for like a few hours or some such, it was like three and a half years to him. Which is why when he popped back up, his, you know, hair was all long and crap. Okay. Shameless spoiler, spoiler for me. Shameless Rick. Shameless Rick. Anyway. So, yeah. How would you feel if you went to the hyperbolic time chamber three times? <laughs> Come out, get the Super Ultra Mega. I don't know. He didn't go through three times. He's standing there for one. No, 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 no. Since so it was three years to him, that's like going to the hyperbolic time chamber for three days. Which you can't even do, by the way. You can't even do. <laughs> oh, no, no. The bleach robot time chamber allows him to stand there for a Oh, long the long. bleach robotic time chamber. There we go. The bleach robotic time chamber. Yeah. Now, yeah. how would you feel if you went through that training, got the super ultra mega hyper power that you probably never ever get again, and it turns out that when you use it, you'll lose your powers forever and your ability to see all of your friends? Only to turn out that everything you did was completely yeah, inconsequential. Yeah. Nothing to show for. Easy. Semi pull was the perfect counter to the entire team. Uh, Sorry. Random matchup. <laughs> yeah. That's all I have to say about that. It's like. Why? Yeah. What was the point? He, the whole Goku left him. So he's not a mortal anymore, but he's mortal now. No, no, you can't not do the mortal once you're mortal, you're mortal. It's so like death. Oh, no way. He's been super ghost scale for 18,000 years. <laughs> so, this is when I proclaim myself to quit Bleach forever because, like, seriously, flash it off. <laughs> I like oh, flash drop. It's all it's the same guy. Yeah, well. No. Maybe he's the only one doing three more. Uh, now, not gonna lie, even though the entire situation in general was kind of bullshit, I actually thought that it would have made a nice ending to bleach as a series. Like, I think it just should have been that way. Is Robin next thing on the list? No. Uh, now like, I, I, I just thought that we should have ended that way. Not that, like, I hated the series so much that I wanted Bleach to stop, but it's just that the whole, you know, ice and conclusion thing, that would have been, like, the best possible conclusion that could have, they could have come up with the series. I thought it was over at that point. Yeah. Well, apparently, they decided to come up with a whole other fucking story arc called Wolverine. Now, we, we in America don't get Wolverine yet because... We're in America. We're in America. We get everything late. That's why we're all cashiers. But, um, but in between... We're uh, going to get that in a few years. Just like we get anime. Yeah. <laughs> but before we get into the Fulbright arc, which is a whole other mess of unimportance and bullshit and meaninglessness, we got the Momos arc. Now, the Muramasa arc, for those who, for some reason, did watch Bleach, aren't paying attention to what the hell we're talking about at this point. There are a lot of people who watch Bleach who say fuck the Bleach for this. Yeah, okay. for those people, the Muramasa arc, uh, pretty much the Zonta, pretty much the uh, Zonpakuto called Muramasa, has to really take control of other Zonpaktos in their physical form, and they betray them and fight so well, after that, the sun's interesting to me, so I decided, okay, I'm done with the main series because I can't handle any more stupidity. I'll just watch this art because it actually sounds interesting to me, and then I'm done forever. One last chance. No, not even the last chance thing. It's just that once I'm done with this, I'm I'm just done. I, st I still can sit. I still wasn't going to watch the, the actual story because I think it's stupid. But um, I was going to at least finish this art because it was interesting. So, so we get to damn near the what we thought was the end of the uh, World of Massa arc. Everything's going all fair and gaming, every, uh, all the fighting is awesome, Byakuya is being a dickhead, and everything's going smooth. <laughs> 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 everything's dead. 
Everything's oh, no. going so There is like one particular point that pisses me off to hell. It's not what made me like, you know, completely 100% turn on Bleach Forever. The whole Orihime healing Hormasa thing for the most retarded reasons ever. Yeah. Orihime decided to heal the guy that is after her boyfriend. Dude, I think they know all this already. Can we just move on? We don't need this much stupidity. I'm, I'm just recapping how retarded it is. Orihime is healing the person who's out to kill the person that she proclaimed to be in love with. Uh, yup. Smartest bitch. She might as well be blonde. It's orange, close enough. Yup, it's close. Orange is the blonde of the... Orange is like the blonde of anime world. No! Shirley from Cold Geass. I didn't watch Cold Geass. Do not bring that up to me. Ron Geeky isn't all that bright here. I'm still upset about that. I mean, I love Shirley, but... No, I yeah, never really really fucking killed her at all. Yeah, I was mad about that, too. But she wasn't very smart either. Now I got ready for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which is why this chapter is called Orihime is worse than Sakura. She is. No, no, no. It's like, it's like because Sakura is useless, but at least she doesn't do anything wrong. She doesn't, like, do anything to hinder the main characters. So, aside from being there... Being there, which you can't really help. You can't really help that. Or he is actually purposely, actively hindering the main character by healing the guy who's after the children. Because he's injured. That's the only reason she needs to be But that's not what threw me off the deep end. What threw me off the deep end was the origin of the Moromasa arc. Apparently, Muramasa was owned by some Soul Reaper named Koga, who, for whatever reason, was concerned. Gay! They stole it from Inuyasha. Koga. Nope, they're not good. They stole it from Pokemon, too. They don't do with wolves or dogs or anything. Nah, they stole it. His name was Koga. They stole it. No, see, 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 he's a Soul Reaper. They stole which, it. Which is as close to a ninja as we'll get from Bleach, which means they stole it from Pokemon, because Koga was a ninja. No one even really remembers Koga anymore, dude. Oh my god, Koga! Holy shit! Koga! Ninja from Pokemon? Yes. There are plenty of ninjas in Pokemon. Yeah, but there's only one named Koga. Anyway! <laughs> Koga was a bitch, by the way. Shut up, then! Anyway. So, Koga was considered... Something dangerous, weird, whatever. Everybody, he was an outcast. Nobody liked him. For whatever reason, he went crazy and started uh, decided to start killing off random ass souls. Captain Yamamoto, the quote unquote most powerful soul reaper there is, decided we're going to stop him. Yeah! Their idea is stop him! Yeah, their idea! Their idea is stop him! It's still good inside a box! Yep! That's his idea of stopping it. It's a dick in a box. <laughs> You're a dick in a box. Yep. <laughs> Take his evil shoe with a dick and now he's in a box. A dick in a box. Oh. So yeah, Captain Elmo, Sean Sword was the there is. Gonna kill this guy, finish everything. Nope, see him in a box. Box. And then forget about him. <laughs> Yeah. Like, I Her, can't stand it, like, anymore. Put like, in a box, put him on top of a shelf. Like, I get that that kind of plot is like, you know, generic RPG thing, you know, see 4,000 years, of course you have to deal with it because it just so happens to be a thousand years later, and, you know, that kind of and, and apparently you're the only ones that can kill it, even though, you know, for the past yeah. thousand years, I don't know. But when... When it's like, the guy who's the one who's stealing it, the most problem being that in existence, and pretty much, apparently, has the ability to, you know, unleash hell, which we'll get into later. He could just kill the guy and just tell him, nope, seal him. Uh, you thought he would have, like, wanted to kill him? He was killing everyone else! <laughs> it's the same thing with Aizen! We'll get into Yo- No, we'll get into Yo- he has, he has his own little chapter in the thing. And we're gonna get to it pretty fast. We're actually get to this pretty quick. Yeah, we've only been talking for a half hour on this one. Yeah. This is, 
Yeah. That is where I officially quit on the issue for good. Like, I'm done with it. I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. Aside from this rant. Yeah. So, well, that's what Let's go to the Fulbright arc. Now, we're not going to explain what the Fulbright arc is because it's not really important to this, uh, to this rant. Aside from how it ends. Now, keep in mind, Ichigo lost his powers after the final gets the potential against Aizen. The Fulbright arc, even though I thought that, you know, the Aizen thing would have been quite well, complete. Well, well, the Fulbright arc is, is pretty easily explained. We're, we're not going to explain it yet. Why? That's what it's done. Okay. Anyway. Is that a more possible? Pretty much, in general, what the Fulbright Art is, is some bullshit method. If you don't want to hear spoilers, hey, walk out. Hey, not everybody watched the Japanese version, okay? Some people don't watch the Japanese version. Hell, some people don't watch the English version. I said at the beginning of the video, if you don't want spoilers, get out. Yeah. I'm wrong. He did. You already told me. YouTube is my witness. Hurry up and get over. Anyway. All the Fulbright does really is, is the most explicitly each of powers back. That's all it is. I don't know, I kind of called it from the beginning, and I didn't bother watching. But, it's not only that, it's the way he gets his powers back that pisses me off. Apparently, the number one, what? I will take this one. Go ahead. Apparently, since Yamamoto was so grateful for Ichigo for, you know, saving the day, even though Urahara saved the day. <laughs> Uh, he got all the Soul Reapers in Soul Society, and even people like Urdahada, Ishin, and Yurichi, to pour all the Soul Reaper to a special sword that Urdahada created, to all basically... Pressure. Whatever. He said all this. Soul all the Soul Reaper <laughs> into the sword <laughs> to make this sword that's basically a massive Soul Reaper. A massive spiritual pressure. And basically, right when Ichigo was about to dive to... Kugo, who's the villain of this, Rukia pops in out of nowhere, stabs him in the heart, gives him his powers back. Because, you know, Ichigo with his Soul Reaper sponge thing was able to absorb all the spiritual pressure from the sword and get his Soul Reaper powers back. Yep. That's all it was. Completely ignoring the fact that, you know, there's a 50% chance that he would have died. Oh yeah, there's that. I don't think that's going to happen again, dude. Anytime you stab a... The whole point of you stab someone in the chest and give them your powers, there's a 50% chance that it won't work and you'll die. That also hasn't been explained, but apparently, you know, that hasn't kicked in yet. Even though out of the two people that this has happened to, Ichigo and Kugo, it worked both times. Ichigo is a regular human! Whether or not he had spiritual pressure, he's still a regular human. Everything has spiritual pressure, which is pretty important anyway. Everything has spiritual pressure. Even regular humans have spiritual pressure. It just so happened that, Ich that Ichigo ha had more than anyone. The point is, regardless of how much spiritual pressure he had, there's such a 50% chance that I wouldn't have worked and he would have died. I don't know where this 50% translation comes from. But yeah, I found it on the wiki. No, 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 it's just that, like. There's a pretty good chance, but like, what is causing the other 50%? Considering that it's only worked on two people. Like, where's the map in this? <laughs> uh, well, you're getting stabbed in the heart. <laughs> it's a fucking sword. So yeah, that's Fulbright in the nutshell. A bullshit way to get uh, each other's powers back. Which is completely pointless because, well, apparently, this is when they decided to end the anime! Ah, yeah! They ended the anime and each of them powers back. For what? To kill, they killed Kugo and then said, yeah, remember what you're doing in episode one with just going around killing random hollows? You keep doing that, but we won't show anybody this. For some reason, they decided to end the anime early, even though the manga is still going on. I don't get why they decided to do that, but whatever. It's like, where they ended the anime? They ended it where Ichigo gets his powers back. What's the point of giving his powers back if you're going to end the anime? It should have ended that Aizen. It was like the perfect conclusion to what, uh, what the anime could have been. Or if this anything, ours, if seeing as say. by the time the Fulbright arc actually got started, the, the manga was already at the whatever the fuck was already at the final arc. The manga is continuing. At least if we're gonna keep going with the anime, at least finish finish it off with the manga bullshit. Uh, stupid. Now. 
Like, this point, the anime is the best thing I care about, kind of goes to shit. But apparently, uh, the manga is still continuing. There's a new arc where, you know, the Quincy's decide to be the exterminator. Yeah, I remember the Quincy's who earlier said multiple times that he was like, the, that him and his dad were the last ones left because the service killed them all. Yeah, apparently they, they decided to be not dead and took over Hueco Mundo. Yeah. Right off the bat, like, just stupid. We're not going to explain what happens because we don't really know what happens. It's apparently like, they're Nazis. Yeah, apparently they're Nazis. Apparently that's how everybody describes them for some reason. And they have the ability to steal people's bonds. I guess they call them Nazis somehow. because they're, like, going on through a genocide of the Soriphers. I still don't get what the whole steam is. Oh, yeah. No one does. This is a, Apparently, they just grew the ability to steal wait, people's look, bonkai. Look it up or something. Do you have internet? Right. You look it up. But yeah, apparently they now have the ability to steal Bankai, which is how they killed Biafia. Yep. They oh, they don't just, spoiler alert, Biafia yeah. dies. They don't just replicate it and use it against them. They completely take it from you and then use it on, against you. The funeral's on Saturday. Ah, take that, you Biafia thing, girls. And boys. And boys. Ew. Yeah, there are a lot of those, trust me. Yeah, dude, it's sexy. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> no, no homo. <laughs> yep, no matter what you say, no matter how gay it is, as long as you say no homo, it's completely straight. Yeah. <laughs> you're lucky you're slow, bro. <laughs> you're slow, bro. Anyway, um... <clears throat> yeah, the Quincy's. Apparently, they can steal everyone's Bankai. Oh, and apparently... <gasps> Except for Ichigo! Oh, yeah, apparently Ichigo's the only one who can't have his Bankai stolen for whatever reason. This hasn't been explained yet, and it might be explained later, but all we can assume right now hey, fish, is that the only out. reason why Ichigo's uh, Bankai can't be stolen is because he's only a substitute Soul Reaper, not a real one. That's the only explanation we uh, we have right now. That's the only thing I can think of. So apparently, because you're some kind of lower form of being, that you're the most powerful type of being there is in the series. DBZ, anyone? But doesn't that mean Orihime should be like God? You'd think so. Orihime and Chad, considering that they're only humans. No, yeah, but they're, they're not as main character as Ichigo is. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. Even even though apparently Chad was like a central plot point to the Fulbring arc. Yeah. <sighs> oh. Oh. And, um, <laughs> the and the whole stealing Bankai's thing. Uryu is the only Quincy that can't do it. But apparently he's the strongest Quincy of them all. You know the guy who gets his ass beat that the entire series loses his powers that not means. only in the in the main storyline, but apparently loses his powers during a filler arc. Only because he got his powers back during this filler arc, but in order to bring back continuity, they had to take him away again. Now, this whole formula of the Quincy arc doesn't make sense. You have the Quincy's who decided not to be dead for whatever reason. You have Uryu, the most powerful Quincy that could probably just kill them all. Who, for some reason, can't steal Bankai's like the rest of them what? can. What? 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 Yes. Okay. <laughs> Here's your other PSP. <laughs> then you have Ichigo, huh? who apparently huh? is the yeah. like lowest up. form of Soul Reaper there is. Look these things up. Not even a real one. And yet he's the only one who can't get his Bankai stolen. And is currently the most powerful Soul Reaper there is, aside from Captain Yamamoto. Although, although apparently the Quincy's like put Ichigo in a box or something. Turn it on. Oh, apparently they have the power play to go in the box. <laughs> wow. Like, well, we can't think it's Bankai, so, so we'll just put him in a box. Got him. He'll escape from the box and kick their ass. We all know this is the uh, point of view. Alright, one more. Two. By the way, just because I'm agreeing with this doesn't mean I hate Bleach. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Anyway, um. No, 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 fuck you. <laughs> I'm still a fan of the show. I just think that there's a lot of bullshit involved in it. We're a lot of bullshit. Now, and then there's the very last point on this list. Captain Yamamoto himself. Uh. <laughs> the quote unquote, <laughs> and I've said it like four hundred times in this entire rant, the most powerful soul reaper there is. I Apparently Mr. Pa most powerful soul reaper there is can't uh who uh according to everyone has the ability to unleash hell. Or light the planet on fire. Whatever. Lots of fire. But 
you know, when it comes to life and death situations, or when the world is in extreme peril, like, you know, Koza is killing every soul reaper in existence, Aizen, like, wants to take over the soul society, which we haven't figured out why that's a bad thing yet. <laughs> like, maybe he just wants a chair. <laughs> maybe he went and asked the soul king, like, hey, can I have your chair? No. Can I have a replica of your chair? No. Well, I'm just gonna take over and take yours. <laughs> Yeah. Well, That's exactly what when, happened. Yeah, apparently when the world is in peril like that, Captain, uh, Mr. Captain Yamamoto, for some reason, uh, decides not to unleash hell and easily light Aizen on fire and burn him into, like, nothing but ash. Although apparently he, apparently Yamamoto used, like, some sort of super strong keto on him and Aizen survived it. Yeah. Um, apparently Yamamoto used... I don't know, he used something, Aizen survived it, and Yamamoto got, like, almost killed because of it. Yeah. So, like, what the hell? You have this, the, the most powerful soul reaper in the world, but he can't, but, no, he won't use his powers when the world is in danger. When his powers are most necessary. Now, see, what I'm thinking is, is apparently, if you're the most powerful or something, you don't have the most basic abilities. If apparently Quizzes can just take Bankai's, but Erdi was the strongest and he can't steal Bankai's. Maybe since Yamamoto is the strongest of Soul Reapers, maybe he can't maybe he can't use Bankai. Well he's a captain. <laughs> Kinda of contradicts the whole thing with, you know see, now see they all assume that he can use Bankai. <laughs> yeah, because apparently, like how how do you know he's that you have the power to unleash hell unless you've done it already? <laughs> if hell is unleashed and everything's fine now, that means there's no real consequence to like burning the planet, is there? So what was the problem with him, like, burning ice into a crisp? There was none. The only problem is that he can't. That was a liar. He doesn't have Bankai. He can't unleash hell. He shouldn't be a captain. He's not the most powerful soul reaper there is. Even though Ichigo is. Ichigo is. Yeah, yeah, make the human the, the, the head captain. Yeah, make the Ichigo head <laughs> captain. Oh, wait, no, no. Oh, I, I get it now. Because they know that, like, the weaker you are, the stronger you are, they, they purposely left Ichigo as a substitute Soul Reaper, even though they can make him a real Soul Reaper at any time, so that he would be the most powerful Soul Reaper there is. Because Captain Mo Yamamoto is too lazy and fat to do anything himself. <laughs> no, just lazy anyway. No, he's fat. Yeah, he's fat. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> what? Those abs, he's fat. He's hard and fat. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yeah. Yes. That was my surprisingly calm brief leech rant. Normally, <laughs> I'd be like flipping out, but I guess from holding it in for so long and then like organizing this list of reasons why I hate bleach and why like it's like one of the stupidest animes were ever written, uh, I guess all my anger just went through all that. So, yeah. Outro? This is the outro. Um, so yeah, Bleach is stupid. Tiddy Kobo is the worst writer ever, and I'm, I'm going to make sure to avoid whatever anime he writes, because he's bad at it. There. Yeah. That's my, that's my conclusion. Nate? Uh, I don't hate Bleach. I'm still planning on watching it. I still have four episodes left in the main series to watch. Then I'm probably going to go back and watch more Masa, and I'm probably going to end up reading the, the current manga arc. But at the same time, I understand that there are a lot of problems with it. And even though it kind of detracts from my dream of the anime, it's not going to make me quit on it. Uh, I guess Felix has been, like, as short of a contact info as we can. Yeah, my opinion is unchanged. I'm gonna stick with the series no matter what. That's it. <laughs> Even though you full heartedly agree with everything I've said, you're still gonna go. I'm not saying I actually agree, dude. Well, you haven't I'm really. I'm just not gonna, you know, say anything about it. Drop a classic box. Kind of haven't like attempted to argue any points. Which is why this is not that long. Well, that's because that's about with me. some of the. It's just only some of the stuff you said actually does kind of. Makes sense and also warrants explanations. Yeah. But that's as far as I'm going. So, yeah. 
So, in other words, fuck you. I'm gonna keep blocking bleach. And yeah. It sounds like it sounds like he, he's on he's on the same page as me. He likes the series. Acknowledges that there are plot holes and such, but it's still fan. Or and, or truly believes that it sucks, but still watching us just spike. No. Either way. <laughs> Either way. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's our opinion. That's our. Yeah, if you want to contact us, we have Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, it'll be in the description. If you dare to argue, <laughs> which I seriously don't. Yeah, if, if you actually want to <laughs> argue with us, comment out, comment down this video, actually. Yeah, well. I, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm no, I'm serious. Video. I'm calling you guys out. <laughs> like the most wholehearted Bleach fans out there. I'm calling you out right now. I dare you to argue with me on this. Don't do it, man. Uh, so yeah, contacts, if you want to argue, go ahead, like, claim, do whatever you want. Yeah, we have, we have Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, email, Whoa. it'll be in the description. If you want to contact any, any of us specifically, I'll only give out my Twitter this time. Uh, my handle is Nexa88. Uh, we, we've already got part of contacts in other videos anyway, so we're just going to throw in Just put them in the damn description. Yeah. So yeah, we're synchronization, so reach rest, we have some.